the 28th of August, 2023. Tracy, a port city in northeastern Italy, faced significant flooding on Thursday as a result of torrential rains and a violent storm. The storm also had an impact on Slovenia, where firemen were called in to help with flooding in several places. The storm, which featured high winds and gusts, caused power outages and significant damage. Storm cells designated Krausin, Fryalith, Yugulia, and Wilnap formed early on Monday, August 28. A torrential downpour and strong gusts hit Rajan Etli Sandhill, a seaside area, about midday on Thursday. The storm lasted roughly 15 minutes and caused severe devastation. Manhole covers were blown away in the city as a result of the tremendous flow of water, causing flooding in several parts of the city. There were noticeable traffic interruptions, with some traffic lights not working properly. The maximum wind speed measured by the AVV Georeginal Protection Billadine was 73 km per hour while the strongest gust, measured by the Frateri Bandieri Pia anemometer, was 122 km per hour. The storm also damaged outdoor furniture and cafe tables, prompting many residents and tourists to take refuge in enterprises along the coastal Italian Unity Square. The storm also impacted Mugia, causing discomfort. Flooding forced the closure of certain places, including Viatria's day. The city tunnel remained passable, but the non-functioning traffic signals added to the difficulties. The storm's effects were felt in Primorska as well, with heavy showers coming in from the west. The Slovenian Environmental Agency observed a storm system moving north from Slovenian Istria, accompanied by severe winds and hail. Ajiskina experienced a brief but powerful hailstorm, which damaged personal automobiles and several roofs. As the sea breached Valley Kitruk, lower coastal areas, including the municipality of Izola, were flooded. Due to the constant rain, a substantial amount of water accumulated, with Brazur NOV Square experiencing up to 30 centimeters of flooding. Storm cells formed in the region, beginning from the sea or the aircraft, and were carried northward by high-altitude winds from the south. Primorska was one of the first regions to be affected by the storm, with the effects spreading throughout the region.